China on Thursday said it will hold joint naval drills with Iran and Russia in the Indian Ocean and the Gulf of Oman. The maneuvers will begin Friday amid heightened tension in the region between Iran and the United States. China will send a guided missile destroyer. A defense ministry spokesman said the drill was a, quote, normal military exchange between the three armed forces and was in line with international law and practices. But it also brings together three of the United States' chief global rivals at one of the world's most sensitive hotspots. China competes with the U.S. on trade and navigation in the South China Sea. Russia is accused of election interference and sowing instability across the West. And Iran backs armed militants challenging American allies in Lebanon, Syria, Iraq and Yemen. The Gulf of Oman is a particularly sensitive waterway as it connects to the Strait of Hormuz, the shipping route for about a fifth of the world's oil. The U.S. blamed Iran for attacks on international ships in the Gulf over the summer, including a strike on a massive Saudi oil facility in September. Iran denies responsibility and blames the U.S. for the rising tensions. China has close diplomatic trade and energy ties with Iran. But China also has good relations with Iran's regional rival, Saudi Arabia. The State Department issued an urgent warning overnight telling all Americans in Iraq to leave the country immediately. Ian Lee is in Baghdad. The death of Qasem Soleimani in Baghdad ignited a new chapter of regional tensions. Iran's Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei took to Twitter vowing severe revenge. This morning, Iran-backed Hezbollah in Lebanon ordered its, quote, resistance fighters around the world to avenge Soleimani. Iraq's prime minister says the assassinations are a massive breach of sovereignty, and the security agreement with the United States now needs reevaluation. American allies in the region, like Israel, are preparing for possible retaliation and are on high alert. So are American forces, with 9,000 in the region and 3,000 extra preparing to deploy. Hours before the killings, U.S. troops from the 82nd Airborne Division arrived in Kuwait. Soleimani is a polarizing figure here in Iraq. His death exposes deep divisions on the country's streets. In Baghdad's Tahrir Square, anti-government protesters celebrated the news of his death, accusing Soleimani of being behind the deaths of many demonstrators in recent months. The question now isn't whether Iran will strike back, but rather how and to what severity. And when it's over, will the killing of Soleimani have been worth it? So give a double honor to the elders of GMS and honor to the Akiyam. Peace and bless you, brothers and sisters that listen, hopeful elect, man. And, um, ooh we things is heating up, man. The year just begun, and it has come in with a bang, man. Okay? Man, the, the year has just started, man. And ready, it's war, man. It's on. All what the prophets prophesy about, it's, it's happening, man. Okay? The end is nigh, man. Okay? America has entered, as we all know, World War Three has already started, okay? But now it's um, it's getting physical now. Now it's no longer war of words or them supporting this group or that group or indirectly fighting each other. Now American Iran has finally locked horns, man, okay? Which eventually is going to involve everybody, okay? It's going to involve Russia. It's going to involve China. It's going to involve North Korea, India, Pakistan, Israel, okay? The Third World's War, the greatest war that's ever going to be fought, man. The War of Armageddon, man, okay? People are like, oh, man, this seems like um, we in apocalyptic times. You are, you know? Which most people don't even know what that word means. It just means um, to uncover, man. All right? But, yes, you are in apocalyptic times, man. Right, you're in a time of great destruction, great disasters. All right, that's coming on the planet Earth that Yahweh Shai prophesied about in Matthew the 24th and Luke the 21st chapter. Wars, earthquakes, famines, pestilences, okay, signs in the sun, the moon, great tribulation, man. Now, um, we see that Russia. Um, Iran, China are holding joint naval drills, man. We also see America sending troops to the Middle East. There's also rumors of them preparing a draft letter, which a draft is going to happen. Okay. 
You see idiotic Jakes I heard was making jokes or memes about it on Instagram. Everything is funny to a nigga, man. Everything is funny to you people, man. This is the worst generation, okay? Your life, as you know, is going to change, man. It's not just gonna affect that part of the world, it's gonna trickle down, okay? The whole world is the whole, it's gonna affect the global market. It's going to affect trade. It's going to affect what? The economy, man. Because everything is centered around that region. Especially what? Oil. That's why America's over there, man, to secure those, those oil pipelines. Okay, that's why Turkey is involved, Iraq is involved, Afghanistan involved, all right? And who's in their way? Iran. And then Iran is backed by Russia. On top of that, he has a trade war with China. So the, the global markets is going to be affected, man. Your life is going to be affected, man. Okay? This, and the price on goods are about to go sky high, man. And it's also going to topple the dollar. And that's how the microchip is going to come in. So, you know, you Jakes, you can keep laughing, man. All right? We've been telling you, man, playtime, fun and games is finished, man. Okay, y'all just had y'all holiday. Okay, y'all enjoy that folly while it lasted. Now reality is about to hit. Okay, that's what the scripture says. Let me get this first precept. Get the characteristics of your how about Shemel Shah, man, because this is not no fun and games, man. Okay, 2020 has just got in. And uh, <laughs> it has already started on the right foot according to prophecy, right? Psalms 24, verse 8, it says, Who is this king of glory, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, strong and mighty, Yahweh Bashim Shah, mighty in battle. The Heavenly Father is mighty in battle. The Heavenly Father is a man of war, man. And at the end of the day, all you nations, you're dancing to his tomb, Okay? He's the one that's gathering all of you. And I'm going to read why he's gathering all you nations in the Middle East. Okay? But this is our job as many Yahweh Bashim El Shah. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Blow we the trumpet in Zion. And when you go back to the law of Numbers, the 10th chapter, the Levitical priests had different trumpets for different sounds. But what the trumpet that we're blowing right now is a trumpet of war. War is coming. We're also blowing the trumpet of repentance. Repent and get your act together, man. All right? Because the day of the Lord was going to say it. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain, which are you Israelites. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of Yahweh Bashim Shah cometh. For it is nigh at hand. And this is leading up into the day of the Lord. World War Three, And in the midst of your World War Three, that's when Yahweh Shai going to come back, man. All right, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick with darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and strong, they have not been ever the like, and never shot any more after it, even for the years, for many generations. A fire divide before them. This is going into what? The missiles, man. Right, the nuclear warheads. And behind them, a flame burneth. The land is as a garden of Eden before them, and behind them, a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. When the missiles hit, nothing is going to escape, man. Okay, everything is going to go up in flames. The scripture says the elements is going to burn, man. Okay, all right. Now, um, the whole thing is going down to the appearance and, and what they're going to do. All right, let me jump down to some points. Verse 10, the earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, especially when the mushroom clouds go up. Okay. This place is literally going to be a wilderness. And not only America, a whole, a, a lot of parts of the world. Because this, this thing is going to affect globally. The missiles are going to be shot on both sides. That's why the scripture says what the earth shall quake before them. The earth is going to rock to and fro. It's going to be moved off its axis. Okay, you have tsunamis, 10.0 earthquakes when the missiles hit. It's going to be a crazy day, the day of the Lord, man. Right, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw from their shining. It's gonna block out the heavens, man. Okay. Only one thing we know to do that, that's the missiles, man. It's gonna make the earth quake, block out the sun, the moon. Alright, the stars. That's the missiles. Okay. And this whole thing has also been over missile tests. And Iran has already said that 
that nuclear deal that they were part of in 2015, they disbanded that. They're going to go ahead with their um, uranium enrichment program, all right? Which is for what? The missiles, man. All right? Nothing is stopping them now. <laughs> and that's Yahaba Shemel Shah. It says, therefore, all safe now, safe Yahaba Shemel Shah, turn even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. This is for the elect. When we see these things happen, the ones of our people, man, you're supposed to be turning to your Abashim Al Shah, man, because the gates is closing, man. All right? But there's a point I want to get. Verse. All right? This whole chapter is good, but there's a point I want to get. Let me get chapter three. All right. Joel chapter three, verse one. It says, for behold, in those days and in the time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, which that had happened to us. All right. When we came on this side of the world, going into Judah, Benjamin and Levi. All right. But um, verse two, I will also gather all nations. And that's happening right now. And bring them down in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Yahushaphat, man. The Most High's judgment, man. For, and will plead with them there. So the Most High is gathering all you nations at the valley of Jehoshaphat. For my people and for my heritage Israel. So the reason why this World War III is happening. The War of Armageddon. Okay. The greatest war that's ever going to be fought. Is the Most High's judging you nations. Because all you nations... Had us in captivity in some point in time in history, man. All of you, man. Okay? You uh, Iranians, you're known as what? The Persians, man. Okay? You also got uh, you Arabs down there, you Ishmaelites. You also had your hand in the slave trade. It tells you that in the same chapter. We know you Russians and you, uh, you your American counterpart. You're all Edomites, man. NATO, you're all Edomites, man. Okay, that's who you are biblically. You know, uh, Chinese, what you're, the Moabites, man. The, Chine, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Koreans, those are Moab and Ammon. Okay, and you read the scriptures, we always had countless battles against Moab and Ammon, man. Okay, the scripture says they were always in the gates of the uh, children of Israel. Especially when you look at the map with Gad and Reuben. All right, we always fought countless wars against the Moabites and the Ammonites, man. Okay. During the time of David and during the time, like I just mentioned, Gad and Reuben, during the time of the Northern Kingdom, man. Okay, and, and all, the nation, all these nations come down and take advantage of Jake. So the Most High is judging y'all. You see? It says, that's why you read Joel 3. says, they have cast lots for my people and have given a boyfriend harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. Yeah, so they did that to us, man. The transatlantic slave trade, okay? And all the nations rejoiced when we fell. And that's how you, all of you sprung up into power, man. But now the Most High is gathering all of you to destroy each other. Then he's gonna send his son back, Yahweh Shai, right, to put the icing on the cake, man. That's what we're gonna jump down, verse nine. It says, proclaim me this among the Gentiles, the heathen. Prepare war, okay? This is happening right now. Everybody's getting ready, man, okay? Those missiles will be used. Every last one of them, man. It says, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong because in times past, America could bully all these nations. In times past, America could bully Iran. They could bully North Korea. Easy, man. Okay? At one, um, at one point, they could bully China, man. See, but all these nations have caught up into military technology. You see? Because America's ace in a hole was that atomic bomb they had in times past. That's so why they were able to shut down Japan. And after they did that, the atomic bomb, World War II was over. Okay? Germany was subjugated. 
and what they call at that time the axis of evil all right which babylon is a part of the axis of evil man that's why i just read iran russia and um china are holding joint naval dr drills okay because they see that america is just toppling these foreign governments and stealing their resources you see but like i said in times past you could bully them but the scripture says now the weak is saying i'm strong they have now caught up they they also have drones they also have tanks they also have mid-range missiles long-range missiles they also have what nuclear weapons okay it says assemble yourselves and come up all the heathen and gather yourselves together round about to hear the cause thy mighty ones to come down on Yahweh Shemel Shah. Let the heathen be awakened and come up in the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Man. Okay, I'm gonna jump to read to verse 14. It says, um, Read on down. It says, put ye the sickle for the harvest is ripe. So the end of the world is here, man. It tells you that Revelation 11 chapter, that's where Yahweh Shai put his sickle in the earth. Everything he said that's supposed to happen in the last days is happening, man. Full speed. Come get down for the press is full. The fats overflow for their wickedness is great. Multitudes of multitudes of all you nations are gathering, man. Everybody's sending their troops reinforcements over there. Okay. Iran even hit their military base today in Iraq. It's getting, this thing is heating up, man. In the Valley of Decision, for the day Yahweh Bashim al Shah is near in the Valley of Decision. All your fates are going to be decided in the Valley of Decision. Okay? So it ain't going to be no victor in this war. All of you heathens are going down. Every last one of you, man. Okay? It ain't going to be, you ain't going to. Yes, America will be toppled, but your government is going to topple as well. Okay? Yeah, how about Shemel Shah is bad like that, man? Because Russia think they're going to rule next, which I want to do another video on that. China think they're going to have uh, rule next or joint rulership. <laughs> That's not going to happen, man. All right? You all going to decimate each other. And the remnant of you, all you're going to go in captivity together. Kahala Yahweh about Shemel Shah, man. Right, and the beauty we have the uh, we know how this movie's going to end, man. We know the author of the book, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. Okay, let's see right here. Let me see Jeremiah the twenty fifth chapter. It says, um, this whole chapter is good. Let me see. It says. Jeremiah 25, verse 11. Verse, let's start from verse. Moreover, I will take from them the voice of mirth. This is going into Babylon. We're going to read into it. All that joy, celebration, these foolish holidays. That's going, that's a, see reality. People now starting to see this thing is not no joke, man. This thing is not no game. Okay, even though some jokes, Jake's was Jake joking about it, they saying, yo, well, we might get drafted, man. All right, you all going to get drafted. And any Israelite that go over there to them other countries, you're dead, man. Okay? You going to be a body, man. All right? It says, and the voice of the gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, the sound of the millstones, and all this working, jobs, the economy, trade, all that's stopping, man. All that's going to be shut down. And the light of the candle, okay, the wisdom and knowledge, all that, all the philosophies and ideologies that your people hold dear to, all that's going to be put out. This whole land shall be desolation, America, Babylon, and an astonishment. And these nations shall serve the king of Babylon seventy years, which that happened in times past under the Nebuchadnezzar. All right, but it's twofold, man. Because it says, and it shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation, save Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, for the iniquities, the modern day king of Babylon is Esau and the land of the Chaldeans and will make it perpetual desolation. So we know that's not talking about ancient Babylon because Iraq is still there. So this wasn't talking about in times past when Nebuchadnezzar was around. All right. That civilization is still standing. 
that's talking about America is going to be a perpetual desolation after this World War III. Nothing's going to dwell here ever again. Right? Let's read on down. Uh, verse 15. For thus saith Yehobah Shemel Shah, power of Israel unto me, take the wine cup of this fury at my hand and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it. The Most High made Prophet Jeremiah a prophet of the nations, and that's so are we. And we're telling you nations what's coming to you, man. The Most High said, take the wine cup, which is his fury. That's why he's bringing all you nations down into the Middle East, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. He's going to peer upon you his fury, man. All right? And they shall drink it and be moved and be mad because of the sword that I will send among them. Then I took the cup of Yahweh Shemel's hand and made all the nations to drink unto whom Yahweh Shemel Shah had sent me. Okay? And these are the nations the Most High sent us to. All you nations round about, man. He said, to which Jerusalem and the cities of Judah and the kings thereof, you wicked ass two thirds. All right. Even going into the um, them fake Jews in the land of Israel, Israel also going to be destroyed, man. All right. The actual land itself. But it's going to get built back up when we go. And the princes thereof to make them a desolation and astonishment and hissing and a curse as it is this day. Pharaoh, king of Egypt and his servants and his princes and all his people, all right? And all the Mingo people and all the kings of the land of Oz and the kings of the land of the Philistines, Ashkelon and Asaph, Ekram and the remnant of Ashdod. So <laughs> you Hamites and also you Edomites, it says it right here, Edom and Moab, see? You Russians, you Americans, you Chinese, you Koreans, and the children of Ammon, you Japanese. Mosai is judging all you nations, man. All right, let's go on down. And all the kings of Tyrus and the kings of Zidon, which is going into you Canaanites, and the kings of the isles which are beyond the sea. All right, it's going to you, you Japhites, man. All right, you Philippines, you, uh, you Indonesians, you Malaysians, all you Southeast Asian countries, man. Okay, a lot of you Japhites dwell. You're going to be judged as well, man. The Don and Tima Bulls and all of the utmost corners. So the four corners of the earth, man, is going to feel the, the, the judgment of Yahweh Shemeshah. And the kings of Arabia, you Ishmaelites, man. And the kings of the Mingo people that dwell in the desert. And just going into, you know, the sons of Keturah. It says, and all the kings of Zimri and all the kings of Elam, you Persians, man. And all the kings of the Medes, all right? Which were the modern day Medes today. Who dwell where the Medes at are today, you Russians, man. Okay? And all the kings of the north, far and near one with another, and the kingdoms of the world, man. Okay? So Russia, America, all you nations, man. You're gonna drink the cup of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. Which upon the face of the earth, and the king of Shishak shall drink them all. Okay? And this is what Yahweh Shemel Shah say. Therefore they shall say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh Shemel Shah of hosts, man, army, the power of Israel, drink ye and be drunken and spew and fall and rise no more because of the sword which I shall send among you, man. So we just read the rundown of you nations, which include all you nations, man. Okay? All you, uh, 18 nations in the scriptures, man. All right, so let me um, close out this last scripture here, man. And you know, we're gonna do many videos on this. We're gonna keep an eye on this situation, all right? Let me close it out with the apocrypha, man. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 1. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon, man, America, man, and Asia. Okay, we just read about all you nations throughout Southeast Asia, the Middle East, Moab and Ammon. We'll be unto the Egypt and Syria, man, the Middle East, Africa. Osiris said, what? Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Be well, your children, and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand, man. Yahweh Shemel Shah is going to judge all you nations, man. And we read the reason why, because of what you did to Zion, man. So the Mosai said, get your sackcloth 
<laughs> get your garments of mourning. Be well your children, man, because your destruction is at hand. This is it for you nations, man. Okay? Like we said, there ain't going to be no victor, man. All you going to be sore losers in this war, man. Okay? All you going down, man. You're all are being gathered for your, for your demise and your destruction, man. Your downfall. Okay? And we know this is talking about the missiles because read verse 11. It says, The Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his, as, at his presence when Yahweh Shai come back. It says, um, verse 12, The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea riseth up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are troubled and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. Because the Lord won't put his spirit in those missiles, man. Okay, that's the lake of fire. When America's destroyed, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. So all those missiles and those nuclear warheads gonna hit their target. When they shall begin to, sh when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So what missile can be shot to the ends of the world, man? Okay, that's going into the nuclear missiles, man. Those inter intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. They travel across continents, okay? And none of them are going to miss their target. And the scripture says that what? The earth is going to quake and the foundation thereof is going to be moved. All right? So that's what Yahweh Bashim al Shah said. For all you nations, your destruction is at hand. Okay? So, like I said, all praises to Yahweh Bashim al Shah, who's avenging his people, man. Okay? So, uh, you know, <laughs> call on Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. And uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.